You cannot conquer what you will not confront. The first step to conquering your limits is facing them head on. Don't wish away the obstacles in your path. Don't avoid them or pretend they don't exist. Lock eyes with them. Stare them down. Get intimate with the challenges before you. Because here's, here's the harsh truth. Your limits will never disappear until you confront and conquer them. They aren't going anywhere until you take them on directly. As I often say, you cannot change the wind, but you can adjust the sails. Rather than waiting for the world to rearrange itself for your convenience, you must rearrange your sails to catch the winds of life. Now, I'm sure some of you are thinking, but Jim, my limits are too big. My obstacles are too high, too wide, too daunting to overcome. I understand that perspective. I really do. But I have found that perspective to be rooted more in fear than reality. The mind has a brilliant way of making challenges seem larger than they truly are. Let me illustrate with a quick story. When I took up running later in life, I could barely run a quarter mile without getting winded. I set a goal of running a 10K race, which seemed utterly impossible at the time. Six miles? Are you kidding me? That was my limited thinking based on my... But you see, by consistently pushing just a little further than the day before, those limits expanded. A quarter mile became a half mile, which became a full mile, then two, then three. And eventually that once impossible Ting finish line was not just in reach, it was conquered. The limits I thought were permanent boundaries turned out to be movable lines in the sand. I had been conning myself into thinking small when my potential was exponentially larger than I imagined. This happens in all areas of life, not just athletics, business, relationships, personal growth. If you accept the frontiers you start with, that's as far as you'll ever go. But if you have the courage and discipline to systematically push a little further every day, you'll be shocked by how quickly those frontiers expand. As the oldage goes, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Well, after that first step comes another, and another, and another. Tiny steps consistently taken in the right direction will ultimately conquer the biggest limits. That's how all great movements are achieved. Liberation, innovation, disruption, they started with ordinary individuals who refused to accept the limits they inherited. They had had a vision for something better and kept chipping away relentlessly until the constraints crumbled and new frontiers were forged. So let me pause here and get very clear about the core message. If you don't confront your limits directly and deliberately chip away at them, they will remain and in place indefinitely. But if you dare to challenge them persistently, those limits will gradually dissolve. To hammer this point home, let's use a personal finance analogy. If you have debt, whether it's student loans, a mortgage, credit cards, and you simply accept that debt as a permanent life circumstance, it will remain a permanent drag, a limit on your freedom and potential. But if you make a committed plan to chip away at it through disciplined spending habits and steadily paying beyond the minimum payments, that debt will diminish. That burden will soften. That limit will shrink until it disappears entirely, unleashing greater financial potential and choices. It's the same with any limit in your life. Career constraints, health issues, destructive habits, toxic relationships, as long as you accept them as permanent fixtures, they will remain permanent fixtures. But with a steadfast process of confronting them head on and making incremental progress, you begin conquering them. The limits only persist if you let them. Accept the limits and they become self-imposed prisons. But have the bravery to challenge them inch by inch, day by day, and you'll eventually tear down the walls that once contained you. Now here's where I need to get a little tough with you because this truth isn't easy. The only way to conquer your limits is to embrace discipline over desire. You can't keep living for temporary pleasures and expect permanent changes. You can't stay planted on the couch of complacency and expect to uproot your limits. Every day, you must decide. Will I live for the moment and let my limits persist? 
or will I sacrifice the temporary to chip away at the limits, creating a better future? That decision to embrace discipline over desire is what separates those living within their limits versus those expanding beyond them. I wish I could stand here and tell you it will be easy, but you know I won't do that because anything in life worth achieving requires work. The right kind of work, not a thrashing of effort, but a smart, steadily applied, day-by-day -day process to chip away at the constraints. Think about great sculptors. They don't smash away randomly at a rock hoping to uncover a masterpiece. No, they meticulously chip away bit by bit, carefully uncovering the art within over time. You must be a sculptor of your own potential, chipping away daily at the limits, concealing your masterpiece life. If you expect limits to be dissolved in an instant by blind effort or wishful thinking, you'll only grow disillusioned and quit. But if you go to work like a master sculptor, making incremental progress day by day, you'll be awestruck by how quickly the limits fall away over time. Embracing the process is the path of least resistance to conquer constraints. Will it be uncomfortable at times? Absolutely. Anything worth achieving is going to feel uncomfortable at points. Growth is fundamentally an uncomfortable process. If you want to stay comfortable, choose the path of complacency. But if you want growth, you're signing up for some discomfort. Fortunately, embracing discipline gets easier the more you practice it. The more you choose discipline over desire, the more it becomes second nature. Much like building physical fitness at the gym. Those first few weeks of embracing discipline after being out of shape are brutal. But stick it out, and exercise becomes easier and more sustainable because you're building discipline muscles. The same applies to conquering your limits through disciplined habits. At first, it'll burn like lactic acid after a tough workout. But keep making those disciplined choices, and you'll build the strength to conquer bigger and bigger limits over time. It gets easier by doing it daily not by wishing it were easier. Discipline is cultivated through the process, not born overnight. Now here's the critical thing. You can't selectively apply this process. You can't decide to conquer limits in one area of life while accepting limits in another. That's like being fit in some muscles, but not others. It creates imbalances that eventually limit your overall growth. So many people try this piecemeal approach and get unstuck in one dimension only to have their progress hamstrung by persisting limits in another facet of life. They conquer their financial limits, but let their health deteriorate. Or they uplevel their career, but let their relationships drift. You can't sustain growth if your foundation is compromised. True limit conquerors attack constraints comprehensively across all arenas of life. They sculpt away at limits holistically health, wealth, relationships, spirituality, intellectual growth, a rising tide of discipline that lifts all dimensions higher. For you to experience radical permanent growth that endures, you must apply this process universally. You can't afford to leave any limits unconfronted lest they undermine your progress entirely. Conquering constraints is a full court press, not a single pinprick. This is how you redesign your reality and continually expand beyond what you thought possible. By becoming a master sculptor, disciplined across dimensions, chipping away persistently at all your frontiers. What first seemed out of reach gradually comes into view and becomes your new reality. Think about the greatest limit conquerors in history, the game changers, pioneers, and groundbreakers. They didn't just redesign one dimension of possibility. That's minor league stuff. They re-architected entire realities by dissolving fundamental limits. Einstein's theories of relativity dissolved limits of Newtonian physics, redefining the laws of space and time. Tesla and Edison redesigned the fundamental limits of energy infrastructure and human productivity. Martin Luther King Jr. dissolved limits of human rights and human dignity. Marie Curie chipped away at scientific boundaries. Every visionary pioneer in every walk of life started by dissolving irrational limits on what was possible. If you wish to join their ranks, not necessarily in fame, but in stature of growth, you must embark on the same process. 
You must identify the limits that currently constrain your potential across all key dimensions. Then you must methodically chip away at them through sustained daily discipline. By doing so, you begin redefining your personal reality and molding greater possibilities for yourself. The laws that bind you today loosen their grip through your disciplined process of constraint conquering. What first felt like fixed boundaries become mere initial conditions from which you can continually transcend. This process of challenge, persist, conquer, repeat becomes your personal transformation cycle. An upward spiral of dissolving limits gives rise to new realities, new limits to dissolve, expansion into new frontiers. You become an ever-evolving sculptor, continually chipping away at the blocks, inhibiting your full radiance. So at the end of the day, I am not here to motivate you with empty Ray Ray cheers. I'm not here to give you a fleeting hit of inspiration that fades when the music stops. No, my aim is to provide you with a systematic process and mindset for continual permanent growth. A process of discipline limit, conquering, consistently chipping away at constraints in a comprehensive manner. And mindset of never accepting initial limits, but continually redefining the boundaries of what's possible for you. If you leave here tonight and do nothing but feel momentarily fired up, I've failed you. My goal is to instill deeper habit patterns and paradigm shifts, because the truth is every day for the rest of your life will present you with two choices. You can either settle for the comfort and limitations of today, letting limits persist, or you can embrace discipline over desire and systematically start chipping away. Some days that discipline will feel damn near insurmountable and the limits look unbreakable. I get it. I've been there. Some days it seems easier to just accept the reality you're given. Those are the character defining moments where you'll decide. Because when limits loom largest is when it becomes most tempting to quit conquering. When the sculpture is still rough and your progress feels minimal, it's easy to throw in the chisel and just accept the unshapen form. But I implore you, in those moments, that's when you must double tissing down on daily discipline. Because the master sculptors who reshape their reality aren't fueled by short-lived inspiration. They are fueled by grit. A stubborn refusal to settle for anything less than their unchained potential. That, ladies and gentlemen, is ultimately what it takes to conquer your limits. Not a brief burst of motivation, but a continual inflow of grit and discipline determination. Consistent daily habits that chip away at constraints, rain or shine. It's difficult, yes. Discomforting often. But this is the process that separates those living life within a box from those who get to draw their own damn boundaries. If that trade-off of discomfort for possibility doesn't light a fire under you, I don't know what will. Because at the end of the day, we all have a choice. We can either remain compressed within the limits we've accepted and keep playing small. Or we can get gritty and start chiseling away at constraints expanding into our grandest selves. Which will you choose? To accept limits that keep you caged? Or will you commence the daily discipline of limit conquering that leads to limitless possibility, mediocrity, or mastery? constriction, or continual expansion. The choice falls squarely to you. No motivational speech from me can flip that switch. Only you can activate your own chisel through committed actions. So please don't just leave inspired today. Leave transformed by this systematic blueprint for reshaping your reality. Because trying is a temporary state, but daily discipline compounds, it becomes a lifestyle a permanent gateway to continual growth and reinvention. It starts with acknowledging the constraints you're working within. It continues by embracing discipline over desire each day to persistently chip away. And over time, through relentless grit, those limits crumble while you sculpt ever greater possibilities. This is how the greatest realities are shaped, with painstaking, loving care, and commitment to the discipline process. Not with fleeting strokes of inspiration, but with steadfast sculpting daily. So from this day forward, become a sculptor of your own potential. Your limits are there real as the marble block they mimic.
but you need not stay bound by their current form. Let this blueprint be your chisel. Let this mindset supply your grit and get to work daily reshaping the most important sculpture in your life. You have so much potential inside you, just waiting to be unleashed. The only thing holding you back are the limits you place on yourself. So dream bigger, set ambitious goals that really excite you. Don't be afraid to aim high. Once you have that inspiring vision pulling you forward, keep taking action every single day. Chip away at those limiting beliefs and habits that have been holding you back. It won't be easy, but nothing worth achieving ever is. Some days, the progress will feel painfully slow. You might feel like you're chipping away at a massive boulder with just a tiny chisel. But don't get discouraged. Those small actions add up over time, gradually wearing away at the barriers in your path. Imagine a sculpture taking shape, little by little. At first, it's just a rough, shapeless rock. But with every tap of the chisel, more and more details emerge. The same is true for you. With consistent effort, your life will start taking on a beautiful, extraordinary form. There will be setbacks and obstacles along the way. That's guaranteed. You might get tired, you might feel like giving up, but don't. Those challenges are opportunities to grow stronger, more resilient. Keep pushing forward no matter what. And don't go it alone. Surround yourself with positive people who support your dreams and believe in your potential. Their encouragement can be a powerful motivating force when your determination starts to waver. Remember, nobody achieves greatness overnight. It takes years of dedication and hard work. But if you stay committed to continuous growth and self-improvement, amazing things can happen. Little by little, limit by limit, you'll surprise yourself with what you're capable of achieving. So keep chipping away with patience and persistence. Wake up every morning ready to make progress on your goals. No matter how small the step, it's moving you in the right direction towards creating something extraordinary with your life. This journey of growth and reinvention has no final destination. There will always be new dreams to pursue, new limits to shatter. So embrace that endless potential for achievement. Use it as fuel to keep expanding, keep sculpting yourself into the best version of who you can possibly become. You are the artist and your life is the masterpiece. Each day provides a new opportunity to add inspiration, to chisel away limitations, to create something meaningful and beautiful and extraordinary. So keep that chisel in your hand, my friend. Keep swinging with passion and purpose. Little by little, blow by blow, you are giving shape to something amazing, the sculpture of your highest potential. All you need is the courage to keep chipping away day after day after day. I know, you have so much power within you to shape your life into a masterpiece. But it all starts with having the right mindset. You can't let self-doubt and limiting beliefs hold you back from your extraordinary potential. Imagine you're a masterpiece sculptor, but you're using a hammer and chisel on a solid rock surface. You can't just smash through the rock. That would be impossible. No, you have to chip away at it little by little. Your limit mindset is that tough rock standing in your way. You have to keep chipping away, making small steps to break through. Every time you take action towards your dreams, no matter how small, you're eroding those self-imposed limitations. And as you keep doing this, day after day, something amazing happens. Those mental roadblocks get looser and your confidence and courage grow stronger. Bit by bit, you're stretching beyond what you ever thought possible. It's not gonna be easy though. At times, the rock will feel harder than ever and you'll be tempted to stop chipping, but you can't let yourself quit. That's when you have to dig deeper. Don't listen to the voice inside saying, this is too hard, I can't do it. That's just your fear talking, not the truth. Instead, remember why you started this journey of growth. Get in touch, again, with the reasons that set your soul on fire in the first place. Let your burning desire for achievement remobilize your courage. Adjust your approach if you need to, but don't stop altogether. There are always other angles, other entryways into that rock you're trying to break through. Maybe you need a harder chisel, 
or a new technique. Stay flexible and keep exploring until you find a method that works. This persistence in constantly trying new approaches is essential. It's what separates those who stay stuck from those who eventually break through. The obstacles may seem insurmountable, but they're not. There's always a way to kick down the barriers to your dreams. You just have to find the right angle. And always remember, every ounce of effort behind each chisel strike is making headway, even if can't see it yet. Those little incremental steps forward are real and accumulating unseen. So keep chipping away, avoiding putting limitations on yourself again. Don't tell yourself things like, I can't do this, or this is too big for me. Those thoughts are what keep dreams trapped. Instead, think about the end vision of where you're trying to go. What's the new reality you're aiming to create? Let yourself get excited about that possibility and the person you'll become by achieving it. Use that vivid imagination to generate hope. No matter what your circumstances are, always leave room for possibility. Don't let self-limiting beliefs convince you that something can't be done. Those are lies that have held back countless human beings throughout history. Think of the people who were once told they were too poor, too uneducated, too whatever to amount to much. And look where many of them ended up. As presidents and politicians, doctors and scientists, entrepreneurs and philanthropists, if they'd listened to those who tried to put limits on their potential, we never would have seen Mother Teresa's or Einstein's contributions or the countless others who blessed humanity. You have no idea what you're capable of experiencing, creating, or becoming in this life, but you'll never find out if you succumb to a mindset of limitations and impossibilities. So take that leap of faith and start believing in your ability to do great things. Start getting excited about the inspirational journey ahead of you, regardless of where you are now. That's the rocket fuel that'll propel you forward. You see, the simple truth is that human beings have achieved the most unbelievable feats, rising from even the direst circumstances imaginable. Yet each one of those massive accomplishments started small, with just one person keeping hope alive inside them. It was that inner flame, constantly stoked, that eventually grew into a raging blaze. So keep stoking that flame within you and letting it burn brighter as you experience life's lows and highs. Use that passion as a driving force to keep stretching yourself to experience your full potential. One step, one choice at a time. Keep taking the path of continuous growth. Are some of those steps going to be uncomfortable? Yes, absolutely. But look at that pain and fear as the price of admission for achieving something great. The more it stretches you, the more room there's for your life to grow. So embrace that mindset of determination like a muscle and keep flexing it. The more you face your fears and self-doubts, yet keep pushing forward, the more that part of you grows stronger. It's an upward spiral of becoming an ever more unstoppable force in pursuing what's truly important to you.